know what every good character arc has in common? That's right, a want versus a need. Today, we're discussing what your characters want versus need, because these two things are a big driving force in your story. So be sure to stick around. Let's get started. guys, Noor here and welcome back to my channel! For those visiting for the first time, hello! I'm the fantasy author of the novel Divinity Falling. Be sure to subscribe for weekly writing advice videos. We all know that every story has an inciting incident that pushes the plot onward. And while the inciting incident is an essential story element, readers get pulled into stories for a different reason. It's important to mention that interesting characters, good writing, and a strong conflict do keep readers reading. But there is something that's just as important, if not more important, than these elements. And that's your character's want versus need. I'm going to concentrate on your protagonist's want and need in this video. But every important character in your story should essentially have a want and a need even if it's not spoken out loud. Because that's what makes these characters, especially our main character, so intriguing to read about. So make sure you consider your character's wants and needs before you start writing. So what exactly is this want versus need? Put simply, your character's want is a thing or things they want that they think will make their life better. It is the main force behind everything they do throughout the story. They want to get a boyfriend because they think they'll be happy once they have one. They want to win an award because they think their parents will be pleased with them if they do. They want to leave town because they think they could create a new life, make new friends, and be cool. Those are all specific things these characters want and they drive everything they do. But here's the thing, what these characters want isn't actually what's going to make them happy. Because at the end of the day, what they want is external, not internal. It doesn't fill the part inside them that's missing. And that's where our character's need comes in. Your character's need is that internal thing that will make them happy. But they don't know what it is, or if they do, they deny it and refuse to accept it. This need can be self-acceptance, self-love, trusting others, being open to love, making genuine friends, bonding with parents, and so on. It can even be healing from past trauma by allowing themselves to get help. As you can see, your character's need has an emotional pull and a deeper feeling behind it, whereas your character's want is often superficial. At the start of your story, your character will know exactly what they want. They want to travel all over the world and show off to their ex. They think this will make them happy, and they will work hard to make sure they do travel the world. Throughout the book, they will go from one place to the next, deal with one thing or another, meet new people and experience new things. But toward the end of the story, they'll realize that they're still unhappy and they're still not over the breakup with their ex. At this point in the story, they'll realize what their need has been all along. Something will happen to open their eyes. What they needed all along was closure and to accept that they were never compatible with their ex. So finally, they get closure by talking things out with their ex and freeing themselves up for good. This is just an example, but all good stories have a want versus a need. If your story lacks one or the other, readers won't connect with your characters or your story. Stories pull us in because we see something we can relate to in the character's struggles. And your character's want and need are a struggle. It's a battle between the two, and your job is to take readers on this journey. So that's all I have for you today. I'd love to know what does your protagonist want and what do they actually need? Let me know in the comments. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I put out weekly writing advice videos that will take your story to the next level. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media to see what I'm up to from day to day and to chat with me. And before we go, a quick shout out to Sarah Frain and Alan J. Early for my shout outs here over on Patreon, as well as all my amazing patrons. Thank you all so, so much for your support. I really, really appreciate you. And remember, nor for presidents.